Hi everyone, I'm back again. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I reupholstered my ottoman. Um, I love this ottoman. I purchased it in like 2014. Please excuse my voice because I'm just, not just, but like two weeks ago I had this very nasty virus that's going around like all over the whole freaking world. It's crazy. I hardly ever get sick, but when I do, just know y'all who get sick all the time <laughs> y'all better watch yourself because whenever i get sick it's a very very nasty nasty virus anyway um i'm good now and um i did my ottoman a couple weeks ago but i'm just now getting enough energy to do the voiceover so anyway yeah this ottoman i got it from walmart very inexpensive obviously so um doesn't very it doesn't have a lot of quality so we stand on it we sit on it it's been moved we moved like three times up and down the east coast so the ottoman has been through it so i decided i want to go ahead and since i'm not the type of person that's just going to throw something away i decided i will go ahead and reupholster the ottoman i've seen a bunch of youtube videos i'm very handy so i decided i'll go ahead and do it so <clears throat> the first thing that i did uh, as you can see i um measured all the panels of the ottoman i went ahead purchased the fabric i chose this one here i also went ahead and um traced out all my um measurements onto the fabric making sure i had enough fabric for all the pieces with extra room And then I went ahead and cut out all the pieces that I needed to reupholster my ottoman. Hi. So, all right, I have finished cutting all the pieces that I wanted to uh, cut out to fit uh, over all the different pieces on the ottoman i decided to just mimic exactly what they what they did on this ottoman uh, for example all the lines here oh this is so bad <laughs> so cracked up but um i think this is the same exact type of fabric that i purchased um so anyway um so i cut out the centerpiece these triangle shaped pieces these four pieces here um here's the centerpiece i made everything a little bit bigger because i'm gonna try and um you know make it so that it's not like meeting right up at each other obviously you want to um sew them together or adhere them together uh like so oops not like that wait Wait, how do you do it? Okay, so the seam will be, you know, creased like that. As opposed to whatever this is. I don't know how they did that. But, my mine will be like how you sew things and then open it back up. So, yeah, that's that. These are the pieces that go on these sides, which I made them bigger, of course, because I want to be able to have enough room to fold them. Uh, what? Here are those triangle pieces. Here is um, the first two pieces I cut, which 50 and 50 make a hundred inches around here the same way they did it here you see this crease here mine will be the same it will go around halfway and then meet together like that and then um this piece here that goes around the lid um will be in half as well here are those actually in fourths those will be in fourths because these are actually in fourths so you see a crease here and then you come a quarter of the way around and another crease a quarter of the way around another crease so this mine will this pattern will mimic the same exact design 
and that's it that's all my so pieces i went ahead and emptied out all of the contents from the ottoman i had a bunch of stuff in there i went ahead and took everything out um so that i could go ahead and take the feet and the uh, dust cover off the bottom of it uh so once i got the feet off they came off very easily with just a phillips screwdriver and the dust cover was just stapled on there so i just popped them off I went ahead and started with the perimeter of the base. Um, I laid the fabric on there and I secured it underneath first with the staple gun, the heavy duty staple gun, which I also got from Hobby Lobby. Um, um, I'm trying to figure out what to do with the second fold. The first one, as you can see, I stapled it. So the second one coming around and closing it. I didn't know what I was going to do. I have these mirror mounting tabs that I have from Dollar Tree, um, but they didn't work out because it didn't really have a good hold, a good grip, so I'm going to have to figure something else out with that. So I moved on to finish securing the perimeter of the base by stapling just right inside of the base. I had to pull the fabric over the top edge to the inside. Um, I went ahead and replaced the dust cover and the feet, whatever they are. So I went ahead and finished stapling all the panels together and um, I'm just feeling and positioning to get the folds how I want them and um, I realized that the fabric was pulling a bit like on the staples and you can kind of see it pulling. Um, so I stepped out to go ahead and get a hot glue gun to reinforce all the creases where the staples are. I also went ahead and since I was doing this I went ahead and removed the mirror mount tabs and I used the hot glue gun there.
Um, in my garage I found four screws and uh, four washers for my toolbox and I used those and screwed them into um, the lid to create the tuft effect. It was very easy and I think I'm going to use the same technique when I do my headboard. That will probably, that may be my next video, I don't know. These are um, buttons I got. I don't know which one I'm gonna get used yet. I don't know which one I'm gonna use for this. I'm trying to decide. But um, just gonna hot glue gun the strip around the perimeter of the lid. And yeah, that's that. So I flipped the lid over and secured the fabric underneath um, and I had to trim a lot off but it turned out fine. So we uh, actually chose to use the dark buttons, so I just hot glued those in, that was that. Um, but the trim around the lid, it didn't hold together with the hot glue after like a day. Um, the faux leather was like, no, it's not happening, it's not holding this together, it's not holding me together. But so I went ahead and went back and stapled the perimeter into like whatever piece of wood I could get it to catch on to behind it. But in order to do that, I had to 
push inward so it kind of changed the shape of the ottoman it kind of looks like a, a poof now it's not as defined but it still looks nice um to hide those staples i took this gold trim that i, I purchased i didn't know if i was going to use it or not but i ended up having to use it so i did use the hot glue gun to uh push this it's like a cloth material so i just put dabs of it wherever the staples were to kind of fuse it the glue around the staples to hopefully hold since the leather wasn't holding the glue and uh, actually it's been about two or three weeks and this is actually held up so so ta-da here it is make sure you comment click the like button click the subscribe button give me some ideas of what you want to see if i can do if you want to test my skills or whatever the case might be.